G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Got the Savata Yakui Medium. So I'm going to do about uh, 10 kilometers today with it. And uh, I've got 12 kilos in the pack. So let's head off and see how it feels. About one kilometre in. Um, I can tell the pack's there. But it's still very comfortable. There's no pressure, no rubbing, no sore spots yet. And I haven't stuck to the track. I'm in a bit of a bush action. And it shows the ones there. I've got to climb a few rocks and stuff. So far, happy. about two kilometers in maybe two and a half closer to no change no rubbing really comfortable I haven't had to adjust anything yet so there's no straps that have slipped so looking good Five kilometres in. And I've just checked the hip belt to see if there's any movement. I'm quite surprised if we pull it in about another inch. But whilst walking, I didn't feel any of the weight going from my hips to my shoulders. I think the shape of the belt, with it being so thin, actually moulded in to my waistline a lot easier than one of the big, thick, padded ones. 
so the pack didn't slip. Comfort wise, after the five kilometers, it's been nice. It's, uh, to be honest, it's a lot more comfortable than a lot of the actual uh, hiking packs. Uh, it's strange, isn't it? These compass spend the thousands and brag about their hip belts being this wonderful, that wonderful. This padding, that padding, this air, that air. It comes down to a simple hip belt like this one. And it's really comfortable. And it does the job fantastic. Twenty-eight degrees centigrade today. Overcast. It's nice when the wind blows. But ventilation on this pack. Now I've got perspiration. I can feel it where the pack is touching me. But every now and then I'll feel the uh, coolness of the vent going down the middle, which is keeping my back cooler than the sections it's touching. It's not running down my back yet. I think we're about, I think we're only about eight kilometers in. And I'm just going up a incline. The balance of the pack. A lot of that will come down to how you pack it. But in general, I've packed it like I'd normally pack one of my uh, packs for this type of walk and there's been no wobble left to right. It stayed where I've put it. So I've uh, adjusted the hip belt once, which I didn't even notice needed adjusting. I only did that just to check. But all in all, it's a comfortable pack. I've had hiking packs cost a lot more than one of these and they were not as comfortable for me personally now my back length if you're getting yourself measured up for a backpack <coughs> with Osprey for example their measurements are small to medium and the medium to large they've got two packs like I said the small to medium is the one size and the medium to large is the second size my back length sits in the middle, so I can wear either the small to medium or the medium to large. So I'd like say, say I'm about medium then, shall we? So I'm not the shortest, I'm not the tallest. My back length is medium. And this pack sits nice. As you can see there, it's just by looking at the uh, lens or the camera here, it's just level or just above my shoulders. Profit wise, like I said, around the shoulders, with some of the other packs I've had with the thicker waist pack uh, belts, 
they have slipped down and the weight has gone on my shoulders but with this hip belt I'm not feeling it on my shoulders uh, pulling back from the shoulder straps I feel it every now and then when I'm climbing up a hill and climbing over rocks but in general walking on the flat like this now there's no pull I can't feel it pulling backwards I can't feel it pushing forwards just balancing it is so I'll finish the last couple of kilometers back and just before I get back to the car I'll give you an update of I think by the time I get there it'll be closer to the 11 11 and a half kilometers so I'll see you then I've up the pace a bit. I'm about four or five hundred metres away from the car park now. Even with upping the pace, I think I was doing up an average of about 4.8, 4.9 kilometres an hour. The pack stayed comfortable. It stayed sitting on my back nice. Yeah, I'm perspiring a bit more. But all in all, comfortable. I said, there's no rubbing, there's no pulling me back, there's no weight transferring onto my shoulders and the hips are taking it all. I'm liking this pack, it just fits that little spot in between the types of push walking and hiking I do between from carrying a tent to the hammock uh, in here like I said it's set up for about three days weighing around the 12 kilometers mark it's got the bivy in there it's got a sleeping bag in there it's got three days food in there it's got my first aid kit my snake bite kit my hygiene kit change of clothes in there it's like a little mini TARDIS uh, value for money I'd say a big thumbs up to that yes alright I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not already a subscriber please go down below click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of all upcoming videos hit the thumbs up button the like and if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.